Hello and welcome to Coffee and Tarot. Um, my name is Mary and this is your reading today. We are checking how is your person feeling this connection, if they are feeling anything. If they feel it lingering above them, if they feel with the same intensity as you may be feeling it. Do they feel you, your energy in their life, all around them? What is happening? Or on the contrary, are they indifferent to it? Let's see. So you have three objects to choose from. The first one is the cauldron. The second one, the tiny fairy. And the third one is the dragon. Take a moment to visualize your person, your situation, your story. And please go ahead and make your choice. I'm going to start with pile number one, the cauldron. And we are asking spirit for pile number one. How is this person, person dealing with the situation? Do they feel the intensity of this connection when they dream, when they, when they are asleep, when they are, they are living their life? Do they feel this or, or no, or not? Do, do they feel the magic between the two of you, the link, the energetic link between the two of you? A five of swords, the tower, ten of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles, the star, Oof. and the nine of swords. Seven of Wands, Justice. And death. And on the back of the deck, they have the seven of coins, seven of pentacles. Well, yes, they feel this, and um, it's not being easy. It's not a pleasant feeling, I must say. They feel it. They feel your connection, your energy, your link. Um, frequently it's something that is um, following them around wherever they go they can't really escape this they also have they always have the same stars above their head so um, there's a big sense of distance here with the star in the middle card as the middle cards so this is the most um the strongest feeling this person has is that they cannot approach you they you are too far away even if it's not physical but it may very well be for some of you there is a great great distance between the two of you and everything all that you share are the same stars I see and that's the big message that comes that the worst moments for this person are during night time because the star the nine of swords that's when they are in bed trying to fall asleep that circling thoughts are coming on and coming they are revisiting all that happened between the two of you and I feel with this tower and this death maybe there was a big disconnect well you're not in contact so but I feel that you were you were in contact there was the perspective of something very abundant and stable here 
perhaps this person was thinking that there was a really good chance of building something stable with you and then something happened there was someone's heart got, someone really got hurt in this that's for sure five of swords is about someone getting hurt really hurt um, from a situation because of situ because of a situation because of acts from others I don't know who maybe maybe them if if they were the ones who hurt you well they are very aware of that very very aware of that and this is this nine of swords speaks about a range of him of negative emotions and one of them is guilt and uh, worry and um, feeling that everything is very dark so if this was the person who hurt you if well someone got hurt here if they were the ones who hurt you they know this and they're thinking about that a lot so um, there's also here the sense of a sense of justice that is going is is supporting this sense of feeling guilt feeling guilty so yes i feel very much there was a big separation between the two of you with the five of so of uh, uh, pentacles with the tower and the death there was a separation and it was not it was not um how do i say this it was not slow it's, it was a sudden very disturbing event that caused this separation um so yes this person feels your connection very deeply and is not in a good place right now um, this person still wants to fight for this connection I say this because they have the seven of wands with the seven of pentacles so they and the, and the star that stock which uh, speaks about hope so this person is still hopeful of re reconnecting with you of saving this somehow um and um even though they may not be doing nothing at least you are not, you're not in no contact they feel they want to fight for this they want to fight through the obstacles to get to you yeah they're not doing anything uh, of course because they have the seven of pentacles also on the back of the deck they have the two of, of cups the lovers and well, I, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, but they want to work on this again. They feel very deeply. They have both cards, two of Cups and the Lovers. So this speaks about a very deep emotional connection. This person is very emotionally attached to you. They feel this deeply, but with the Seven of Pentacles they feel it's not the right time to do anything maybe they are afraid of your reaction i don't know they feel that if they act too soon the outcome will not be what they hope for okay things are not ready it's not the circumstances are not favorable to them that's why they are waiting so um this is a quick reading i hope you enjoyed and it resonated with you if it did pl please press like and subscribe that will make me so happy and um, see you next time i hope bye bye so now let's move on to pile number two and see if uh, what the tarot has to say about this So welcome pile number two if you chose the tiny fairy this is your reading we are going to ask spirit to provide the most accurate and precise information about what is your person feeling regarding the deep 
deepness of your connection is your person feeling your energy around them is your person feeling this is something special is your person um connecting with you on the on the 5d do they feel the intensity of this so let's see what spirit has to say about how to They have the Seven of Cups. Ace of Swords. Queen of uh, Wands. Six of Cups. Five of Wands. Temperance. Seven of Pentacles, Empress, and the Knight of Pentacles. And on the back of the deck, they have uh, the Nine of Cups. So this is an interesting energy here. We have, let's see, before moving on. As a summation of energies I see here, your person has the Nine of Cups and with these cards I feel that this person is trying to not feel this connection. They're trying to focus on their own um, individual needs, individual um, gratification, emotional gratification. I feel they are trying to find that in other ways and that's why they are so emotionally scattered right now. So, um, if your person feels your connection, well, to some extent they do, but they are kind of, how do I say this, scattered. They're not, they're trying to fight this. They're trying not to get obsessed with this. That's the, the right message here. They do feel it, but they are fighting it. And they know that if they don't fight it, they will get really obsessed by this situation. That's why they acknowledge here that they lack focus. Their, your energy, you come here as the Queen of Wands, so you're very disturbing to their life, to their state of heart, state of mind. You are very disturbing and i don't say this in a bad way it's just that you are very intense and you um your energy has the power to interfere a lot with um the state of concentration of this person how this person feels grounded okay um so they acknowledge they are trying they feel scattered their emotions are scattered, they are trying to focus on their own needs, perhaps even with a, a little excess of self-indulgency, self maybe, in order to forget this, but they know they need to find a focus here about what they really feel, what, how, why are they feeling like this? Because with the Seven of Cups and the Ace of, of Swords, this speaks about focus. They know they have to find a focus. They really want that. But they don't, at the same time, they don't want to focus too much to the point of being obsessed. They want cl clarity. That's what they really want. So with the Five of Wands as the central card, I see this person is of course having an internal conflict this is supported by the other cards and is trying to find a balance here with the temperance card about how they feel about their well their own balance in life this is disturbing them um so the the rest of the of the of the cards here speak 
gives us other messages and um, for some of you if this resonates I have here a feeling that um, in this is for some of you okay it doesn't have to be for everyone it's just a message that this person may be someone from your past that you lost connect that you had a significant connection with doesn't mean it has to be an ex but you know an emotional connection of uh, someone who was in love with you and never came forward or you were in love with them and never came forward whatever it is someone from your past that you lost track of and now you came back you found each other again you you exchanged some contact and now this person is kind of all over the place for whatever reason it is we are not asking about that and what is the current state of this person's life but there's a reason for that for certain for others of you this person feels um has there's a, sen a certain sense here that this person feels at home with you feels comfortable with you to some extent or felt comfortable you know um that sense of um of coziness okay uh with the six of cup of cups and also um, there's a part of them that really sees your connection with uh, sees you not your connection but sees you with rose-colored glasses you know innocent um. so yes this person is struggling inside of them they have conflicts internal conflicts but the fact is this person and also i want to say with this seven of pentacles and the six of cups again about that person from your past that there was this indefinite waiting here for someone to come forward in this connection okay and it never did and uh, now things are messy and confused for this person that you now that you came back again um into their life so um i find two energies here the empress and the and the page and the knight of pentacles and these are you both you can have a more complete energy this person sees you as the empress so the full package the empresses embodies the energies of all the queens so as a true essence this person sees you as this complete beautiful nurturing person that they really desire there's a lot of desire here no doubts and also um, emotional loving feelings with all these ones and cups um also with this empress card i get a sense that no matter what happened between the two of you no matter your story you both care for each other this person does care a lot for you they 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 want to take care of you they they want to nurture you they want to you know with the six of cups card it's very taking care of the other person beautiful innocent love of course passion also but this is really pure pure the purest form of love so um a last message here it comes with the knight of pentacles this is how this person behaves normally this person is very slow and steady they don't rush into things and they really want to do what they are supposed to do okay what they they feel is right and um so this person is is um at least that's how they see themselves and probably the most sounding um and probably how they behave most of the times like this the king of pentacles it's a very slow uh, person it will take time to do so stuff they don't like risks they don't like taking risks these knights of, of pentacles so 
for a queen of wands, if that's your energy, that can be um, very frustrating sometimes. Perhaps that's why they never came forward in the past for some of you. So people, this is the story for pile two. I hope it resonated with you. That's what it came from the cards and very strongly. So if you enjoyed the reading, um, press like and subscribe. That will help a lot this baby channel to grow. And I thank you for your time. Bye bye. So let's now move on to file number three and see what we have for them, for you. Welcome, file number three. If you chose the dragon, this is your reading. We are checking today uh, and asking spirits if this person you have in your mind feels your connection on the 5D. If there is a, if you are energetically intertwined, if they feel you, if they feel your connection, even if they don't want to, if they, even if they don't contact you, if they feel the intensity of this, and, uh, and uh, if so, uh, how are they feeling? Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords, um, Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Judgments, Queen of Wands. Death. Okay, another guilty person. Okay, let's see. I'm just moving ahead. But um, Nine of Swords and the Sun. Oof. And on the back of the deck, they have the Ten of Swords. So, um, I see. A lot of messages here but the first thing I want to say is that something came to an end due to someone um, having been deceitful or um, misbehaving a lot. Um, the summation of cards here is that your connection reached a point where this person is feeling right now and yes, they are feeling your connection, but they right now are feeling that they reached a painful closure, okay? That um, they feel a complete failure. They feel they lost a lot. So with the death card and the 10 of, of swords, I feel your connection um, ended. And this person sees this ending as something that is possibly uh, permanent. They don't feel a way back from this. And um, let's see, the first message I'm getting, I get, I got, was that they were the person who uh, did act in an honest way here with the seven of swords but i'm just double checking to see if they feel deceived or if they feel that they deceived you but yeah no it was the, my first the first message that came that is the correct one at least for most of you it is like that because they have the judgment card on the center of the reading and uh, the judgment card speaks about wanting to to be better than they were in the past. It speaks about um, cleaning yourself from 
the scenes that you made in the past. This can mean that something so mundane as quitting smoking, you know, or, you know, a bad habit, leaving a bad habit behind. But in this case, what I feel is this person um, really hurt, hurt you on the, in the past and now they're feeling very guilty. They have the judgment card and besides that, besides feeling guilty, they also reached a state of clarity that, that is almost painful to, to face this truth. They have the Ace of Swords, the Sun, it speaks about truth. It also speaks about they know they knowing their knowing their acknowledgement that they were happy with you and they did not um, cherish that they did not value that at the time. So this person is feeling a lot of remorse, of um, regret and guilt. Um, So what I feel here is very clear, the things I already said and besides this, this person is trying to fight this um, clarity and these feelings because it's too painful for them and they're trying to fight this, resist that with the seven of wands with a lot of work, they're focusing on, on their work, they're, you know, burying their heads in their work so they are distracted enough not to feel this this mess this painful um, awareness that they have now that they really messed up in the past and now everything is um, ended is is lost to that to them so they see you is this queen of wands beautiful passionate they were really happy with this queen of wands in the past they didn't value that and um this queen of wands when she's upset can really uh, be ruthless you know uh, fiery temper so that's just an additional message uh, this additional message here but the fact is this this person, yes, they feel very much your connection, but in a bad way. They're, they, they're not feeling really your energy here. They're feeling their own energy, their own um, conscious mind, uh, unconscious mind. Um. So that's it, guys. That's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to press like and subscribe and uh, I thank you for your time. Bye bye.